Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, I'm Arhali Lagalwanda Esta I'm student at State Islamic University of Aden Fatah Faculty of Tabia and Teaching Sciences Earlier, I thank with Allah SWT for His presence which has brought me hell and blessings today so that I can see you again in good hell and happy watching On this occasion, I would like to give you a discussion discussion of the story of Albert Davila from Nauman Ali Khan. From what I've been listening to on YouTube, the video describes Albert Davila, who was a Christian and is now and he's now a well-known convert to America. Albert Davila was a young man who lived in a town 40 minutes from Fort Worth. He was a farmer, a young man. Then he developed a genetic disease that paralyzed him from the neck down, and he lived in a nursing home. Albert had a friend who lived in the same room, one who always talked to him about their God and religion. One day, Albert's friend got along awaited leave a donor. He was both happy and sad that he had to leave Albert alone. When the day of the operation arrived, he had failed in his operation and so he passed away. The nurse gave me the IP necklace the person left behind and gave it to Robert. She put the crucifix around Robert's bedside. Robert Davila one night dreamed of meeting a man who called himself Muhammad. In his dream, Muhammad said, It is not the prophet who is descended to call his people to worship the prophet. But the prophet is descended to invite all the gods to worship the Lord. Then only to God which such be worship. Herbert awoke from his dream and sought out who the prophet Muhammad was. He looked it up on the internet. He finally learned that the prophet Muhammad was the bearer of the Islamic tribe. So he immediately declared himself a convert to Islam in his martyrdom. With its limitation, it remains committed to learning Islam, learning Arabic, learning the Quran. The advent of sermons from Nauman Ali Khan explained the meaning of verses from the Quran. He even started to memorize the Quran letters. One day, a man from Egypt working there was injured by Robert Davila reading the letters from al Azhar. How could it not be a paralyzed man living in a Christian community far from the touch of Islam could enter Islam and begin to understand and memorize the, course, the Quran verse? With the story of Albert being told, the Egyptian man and Robert Davila pray that one day meet Nauman Ali Khan. And amazingly again, Nauman preached in the mosque he had not filled out in four years. It was a beautiful plan of God. The Egyptian man there praying, he approached no man and told him all about Robert. They finally met. There no man asked Robert to read the Quran and subhanallah that no one would cry out at the time when he read. Every word Robert said was so beautiful that some were using by no man in the speech. Subhanallah, he must never be pessimistic about God's guidance. He don't have to worry about getting that peace. It's got to try to guide you. Your job is to talk to him. Your job is to get by. That's the message I have for you. That's how we get that pitch. Honestly, something like that. And when you have done it, when you will do it, God will open the doors. God will give friends, teachers, access to the source of things. All that can bring you closer and closer to God and to the truth and make life better for the people around you. That's all I can say. May we always bear God's watch you upon this pandemic. If you hear a word or a sentence that displeases you, I apologize profusely and I close. Akhirul kalam. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.